Day was just the start of freeing Europe from the Nazis. As the world remembers the 80th anniversary of the invasion, one Utah family just returned from the town where their loved one went down while fighting to liberate France. News specialist Debbie Worthen met with them today. Debbie, what an experience. Yeah, absolutely, Mike and Ashley. So Nicole Saunders and her husband David never met her great uncle, Paul Shofty. They knew he fought in World War II and died near Normandy. But members of the French family that saw his plane go down back in 1944, well, they set up a foundation to honor him. And the Saunders just returned home from that trip to France. It was just touching to yeah. see. The keepsakes the Saunders now have from Paul Shofty's time during World War II seem to come from a world long gone. It's the engine plaque. But the people in this small village of St. Elliot les Bois, just outside Normandy, wanted to make sure this family knows how, even 80 years later, they honor the sacrifice he made for them. In addition to a ceremony with French dignitaries, the Saunders were able to see where Shofty's plane went down and where a local family found his body. It was amazing because at both sites, they had American flags placed right on the locations. And that was just really touching to be in the middle of rural France and see American flags, you know, to, to honor my Uncle Paul. NBC Nightly News followed the Saunders when the village unveiled a memorial for Shofty. The event spearheaded by Marie Bastian's family. She was 14 years old when she watched his fighter go down. It's not a very big town. Um, and yet there were more than 200 people in attendance. The day was emotional. They all came with their own specialized flag in order to show the solidarity of the entire region. The Saunders also met with school children who had drawn pictures with a real understanding of history. They haven't forgotten and they pass that down. The Saunders left the village with a greater connection to their past and new friendships that will last a lifetime. He wasn't just an isolated guy. He was part of something great, and it was amazing how deeply they remember it and uh, how, how deeply touched they were by it. Now, the Saunders tell me it was an experience they will never forget, and they look forward to a day when they can go back and meet with those newfound friends. Back to you. What a great, great tribute. All right, Debbie Worthen live tonight. Debbie, thank you.